Aha ko te pietiana. Pietiana ahara nei. He mehe mea ko te kaupapa tonu. Kei te raru. Me noho tonu te rā kaupapa kei mui te aroaro. Māori have to do more work to achieve the same ends than, than most many non-Māori, certainly Pākehā. If you take one step back, even more important than the, the right to vote is how you're respected and valued within your community and your society. Voting's a mechanism for that. And yeah, good on, good on um, Miss Shepherd for driving that. Absolutely 100% behind it, but it's only one mechanism. Like the example of Māori TV, for example, where if you look at the legislation, if you look at the Act, Māori TV has to do double work. It has to provide exactly the same things as TVNZ, it has to be a national broadcaster, it has to provide quality programming, it has to do a number of things in there, but it also has to engage Māori, participate in revitalising the Māori language, try and look after Māori communities, it has to do double work. Now, I recall having some conversations 20 years ago uh, when I was at a different stage in my life, having a con some conversations with some of my peers, where male peers, uh, who were saying things like, oh, the tribe would never accept the uh, wahine kaifakahaere, um, never accept the, uh, you know, the chair being uh, a woman. Uh, no, 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 no one would ever accept the, a, a woman as a CEO. Um, and, and me challenging, saying, well, why? Oh, because that just that wouldn't go down. And the, and the response would be that it's not that I've got anything personal with it, but I just know it wouldn't go down with the tribe. I imagine it was a very challenging space. We can see, we, we have evidence that it was not always a friendly space, that indeed it may very well have been a hostile space. And hostile in terms of ideas about racial superiority, um, basically, yeah, everything kind of ends up stemming from these kinds of ideas, which, you know, have their seeds in social Darwinism, other kind of ideas, right? So, it must have been very difficult, <laughs> short answer. And there's an argument that perhaps, you know, for Māori women, again, and this runs through today as well, that Māori women are doubly disadvantaged. Number one for being Māori, number two for being women. And again, this is not unfamiliar to us today. The place of our wahine in leadership has changed. So we have, uh, you know, a good number of our general managers are actually wahine, our, our chief executives are wahine. Uh, we've got on Te Runango Ngaitahu on our governance board, uh, a number of the positions are wahine. And, I'd, you know, at times it's actually been quite interesting to turn around and say, well, hold on, do we need an EEO policy for our tāne? Making sure we've got a, you know, equity going the other way. And it makes me very itchy to do so much more research and find out more and try and talk to people more. Did you know that this woman did this, these people did this? And getting children, getting our young people excited about, hey, you can find out about your, your ancestors, these amazing people, these people who grew up in your neighbourhood, you know, whatever. So, I mean, that's as well where, you know, the kind of how generative this kind of um, project can be. And, an absolute privilege to, to be part of it.